things will come up. That's a great, that, that should be a title. <laughs> That's got to be the title. Good morning. Welcome to Talk O'Clock. It's Monday. I just um, put up the lights for filming and, uh, well, have, um, what's the word? Prepped. Yeah, prepped the camera and stuff. So I'm ready to film art day. Today I have a lot of things to do. Um, recording at least at least two, hopefully five videos to art day, to uh, beyond the lines, and <clears throat> uh, no one beyond the lines and to draw for initiative. Hoping, I don't know if I can manage, but um, I have to record a couple of videos for when uh, Spiel is happening. So I gotta record a second art day because, well, I can't film on two Mondays, the next two Mondays, that is. So I gotta work ahead a bit. And uh, I'm working on a coloring page today. Dee -dee -dee. You will see footage later in the in this video with a, a few sneak peeks there on what I'm gonna do and you can see the stuff soon on the channel. I promise. So uh, it's it's one of those days where I'm not really sure how things are gonna go. I'm in a very good mood and uh, I'm awake. I slept well, got energy and everything, but the weather is screwing with me. So it is today, the 16th of October, second half of October. We are in autumn season. I am in the northern part of Europe and we have 26 degrees. <laughs> and on the screen you will have a translation to Fahrenheit. Because I'm talking Celsius here. So what the heck? This is summer temperatures. This is too warm already for me. I'm sweating like hell. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I mean, I love the sun. It's really beautiful out there. And maybe I got some time to sit on the balcony later. Uh, here goes hoping. But um, yeah, it's supposed to be really sunny and nice. Uh, for the next couple of days, but today it's supposed to be hot. The other two days, so Tuesday and Wednesday, are about 23 degrees max. So that's fine. I'm still, I'm still good with that. But 26 on a Monday where I'm recording, uh, I have the window open, fully open as you can see, because it's really warm and I need air. I cannot have the fans running because audio equipment filming. So I thought I had that behind me for this year and only had to deal with that. And I think there's something on the lens. Yeah, let me quickly clean that up. You should be better now. I think. So um, where was I? Yeah, I thought I had hot weather and stuff behind me for this year and only had to deal with it again next year. Apparently not. So let's see how the day goes. I keep hopeful that the uh, temperatures will maybe stay uh, 25, 24 degrees. I really hope because it is that one degree that makes it unbearable in the studio. That's the threshold where things uh, get bad. But I'm going to go film now and, uh, well, hopefully enjoy what I'm going to do. See you later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put it in a jar to have and to hold To save for later you 
cannot trust it to come again To wait for you to find a pen And fill the paper with the message that it wants to send Grab it, hold it by its tape before it escapes You know its ways and you cannot lose it, that's what you fear So hold it up against your ear And very carefully listen to what it wants you to hear Find it sleeping in its nest before it wakes up Touch it gently, you want it feeling completely calm So you can hold it in your palm And help it grow just like it was born to be Come, 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 come Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello there. It's Thursday and uh, I didn't film anything with talking for the last couple of days other than what you already saw, but I was very successful, meaning I filmed all the five videos on Monday that I wanted to film. Um, I was exhausted in the evening, but I managed. And then on Tuesday, uh, that was just a message from my hubby. Um, then on Tuesday, uh, we were at Daniel's parents' house, so I didn't really have time to work a lot. Uh, so there was only very little th going on here. I didn't really have a lot of time to edit uh, the video, so... I kind of split the um, computer work for everything to be published and stuff over multiple days this week. Not really my favorite thing to do, but uh, sometimes it's just necessary. So pretty much um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and now today, Thursday, editing work. Uh, post-production all the way and I'm at the tiny little last bit I just gotta schedule the video so I gotta work on YouTube to get all the tags and stuff done and then uh, schedule them for later but that's all being so well occupied with prep work for the upcoming vacation that I have um, meant that I didn't have a lot of time to do anything 
else. So besides being um, at Daniel's parents' house for dinner on Tuesday night and just enjoying time together, um, there wasn't a lot of other things I could do. I did some coloring. Um, I uh, worked with uh, colored pencils, the polychromos, on um, the stag in the Mythomorphia a bit more, and uh, here's how far I got. But that's pretty much it, you know? I didn't have time to do anything else, no ancestry work yet. I'm kind of hoping for maybe Friday night, but I don't know yet if I can make it happen. But uh, what I'm definitely going to do tonight while Tina is painting for Draw for Initiative, I'm going to test the uh, Prismacolor pencils. So I've never worked with them. I just heard that they are so creamy and so different than other wax-based pencils. And I was just curious, and we very recently talked about that. So uh, she said, oh, you know, I, I have a set of P Prismacolors. I'm going to bring them to you to the studio and you can try them. Please try them. So uh, that's what I'm going to do tonight, and I'm going to have footage for you, of course. But uh, I already decided what I want to color, so I want to take him to a coloring book that's just easiest for me to test a new supply. And uh, I chose the Jasmine Beckett Griffith um, coloring book, and I chose a, one of those smaller pictures in there. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, while she's gonna paint tonight, I'm gonna sit next to her. We're gonna listen to audiobook, uh, to a audiobook, and um, I'm gonna try the Prismas, and I'm gonna tell you in the next clip what I think of them. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's been my week so far. See you later. It's Friday.
time to end the vlog and as i promised in the last talking clip uh i played with the uh, prisma colors so this is what i did this is what i colored And it is in the Jasmine Beckett Griffith um, coloring book. And I just chose one of those small pictures because, well, time issues, because I didn't want to and that I didn't have time to spend like six or seven hours on uh, one of those bigger pages. Now, uh, talking about the Prisma colors, what do I think about them? Um, I really like them for certain things um they are very creamy just like everybody says so they're almost so they are creamy to the point that they're crumbling when you color and i don't like that as much but uh, if you have the rougher paper and you really want to go and uh, have no trouble getting into those paper valleys into yeah get the pigment in there they're perfect for that they're wonderful um they have a very nice color range at least the set that i uh, was allowed to play with and um well they they blend very nicely as they are so creamy they really blend well without any effort and they what what's different and what i um think would i have would i play with those or would i work with the prisma colors a bit more i would definitely have to learn that and have to practice is um you don't blend by layering as much as you do with the polychromos this is what i do with the polychromos i blend by layering lots and lots and lots of layers of color but with the prisma colors it's more like you pull the pigment into the other pigment so it's more like 
smushing things together, that kind of blending, and not by layering uh, as much. Layering really doesn't really do anything when it comes to blending things together in comparison to the polychromos and also the um, Papa Castell. Ah, things are falling. Why are things falling? <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, the Papa Castell, uh, they are these ones here. These um, wax based colored pencil pencils, the sheep, the cheapies that I'm using. So uh, that was something that I just had to uh, get used to. But I think once you get the hang of it, they um, they can really do a very nice job for you. Um, you don't have to use as much pencil as you do with the polychromos, for example, or again the fabric cell uh, wax based pencils. But uh, blending together with just two pencils is super easy then. Uh, however, since they are so... Uh, well, that means... Oh, I have to talk as fast as I'm thinking. Um, that means that you don't need as much pencil. So I, the pencil lasts longer. But that is counterbalanced by the Prisma colors being so creamy that you have to sharpen them every two seconds. So you work through your pencil just as fast, if not even faster, than uh, with the Faber Castells or um, so the, the cheap wax-based Faber Castell pencils or the Polychromos, which are all based and um, not so cheap. Uh, so what I found irritating, but got used to, well, quite fast, I'd say, is the size of the pencils. They are so thin in comparison to all the other colored pencils that I have. So it felt like I'm having a chopstick in my hand. It's actually a chopstick thickness that uh, those pencils have. But I get used to that really fast. It was just the first, maybe, let's say two minutes. I was like, huh, ah, this feels weird. Am I really having a colored pencil here? Yeah, but I do. But I really liked working with them. Uh, it was uh, very nice. But uh, I decided um, I've seen enough of them. I don't have the wish, the urge or anything to buy a set of them. Uh, I do have enough wax-based colored pencils uh, that I don't need another brand. And, um, well, I don't, uh, I don't find them more exciting than my polychromos, so they don't have a space in my studio. But I really enjoyed um, uh, testing them out and if there ever should be that day that I don't have any wax based pencils anymore and for whatever reason the sets that I'm using now aren't produced anymore and there's no other local alternative here I would definitely go for the Prismas then if they are the same quality than they are now so yeah I've been I've been playing I've been testing now um to finish up this video and pretty much talk about the end of um, the week here, uh, it's Friday today and um, besides ending this vlog, I hope to have maybe an hour or two uh, to, um, well, do some ancestry work because I really haven't done anything this week and I, um, I'm actually wanting to, <laughs> so I've few papers that have to go into the um, family tree that I have to put in there just didn't have the time because I was prepping so much because well next week is spielt so next week uh, my my there's not gonna be a schedule uh, which also means next week there won't be a talk o'clock or a uh, gamers couch because I'm not gonna have time to uh, either record and or do post-production for those. So we skip one week next week, but there's gonna be a Gamers Couch this week, so we're gonna record tomorrow and we're gonna talk about Martians, the uh, story of civilization or a civilization story, something like that. Uh, we're gonna talk about that game and then we skip one week and then we're gonna be back post-spiel. 
Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't have time to really do any ancestry work or anything because I was prepping so much for one spiel. Uh, I do have to have uh, art days ready, which I finished this week, but I'm also prepping for BGGCon and I still have to record two videos, I think. It is, I think I have one down, I had three, yeah, so it should be two. Two videos um, for when I'm at BGG, so uh, yeah, work. I had to finish that first and then I can do Ancestry, Ancestry has to well, I'll take a step back there, but I'm hoping that I'm gonna have an hour or two today to do some work on that and uh, then go into my weekend and record Gamers Couch for you. So yeah, that's been that. I think I didn't forget anything if I did. Um, sorry. I think that was all the excitement <laughs> that I had this week. Well, it's mainly work, but it was successful and Woohoo! That's, that's been great. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching along. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see more of weird ramblings, board games, art, all of that. Um, we're going to be back, or I'm going to be back on this format in two weeks. Um, I'm probably gonna record a little footage of the board game unpacking maybe just like I did last year where I uh, went through all the punching and the stuff. Mm, don't know yet but um, yeah things will come up. That's a great, that, that should be a title. <laughs> That's gotta be the title, things will come up. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm cheap, I know, but I'm gonna go now, I'm, I'm gonna leave you here to your weekend, I hope you have a great one, take good care, have fun, bye bye folks. Man, I'm really cheap, that's, I'm definitely gonna take it as a title.